I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. There is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Wonder is the beginning of wisdom. Strong minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, weak minds discuss people. To find yourself, think for yourself. Education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. By all means marry, if you get a good wife, you'll become happy, if you get a bad one, you'll become a philosopher. He who is not contented with what he has, would not be contented with what he would like to have. Be slow to fall into friendship, but when you are in, continue firm and constant. If you don't get what you want, you suffer, if you get what you don't want, you suffer, even when you get exactly what you want, you still suffer because you can't hold on to it forever. Your mind is your predicament. It wants to be free of change. Free of pain, free of the obligations of life and death. But change is law and no amount of pretending will alter that reality. The children now love luxury, they have bad manners, contempt for authority, they show disrespect for elders and love chatter in place of exercise. Children are now tyrants, not the servants of their households. They no longer rise when elders enter the room. They contradict their parents, chatter before company, gobble up dainties at the table, cross their legs, and tyrannize their teachers. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall come easily by what others have labored hard for. I examine the poets, and I look on them as people whose talent overawes both themselves and others, people who present themselves as wise men and are taken as such, when they are nothing of the sort, from poets, I move to artists. No one was more ignorant about the arts than I, no one was more convinced that artists possessed really beautiful secrets. However, I noticed that their condition was no better than that of the poets and that both of them have the same misconceptions. Because the most skillful among them excel in their specialty, they look upon themselves as the wisest of men. In my eyes, this presumption completely tarnished their knowledge. As a result, putting myself in the place of the oracle and asking myself what I would prefer to be, what I was or what they were, to know what they have learned or to know that I know nothing, I replied to myself and to the God, I wish to remain who I am. We do not know, neither the sophists, nor the orators, nor the artists, nor I, what the true, the good, and the beautiful are. But there is this difference between us, although these people know nothing, they all believe they know something, whereas, I, if I know nothing, at least have no doubts about it. As a result, all this superiority in wisdom which the oracle has attributed to me reduces itself to the single point that I am strongly convinced that I am ignorant of what I do not know. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark, the real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light.